It was very infectious. We all were in it together. It was such a well-cast ensemble. We all just dove in together collectively and had a really, really good time. We always wanted Michelle Yeoh to be in this movie. We grew up with Michelle Yeoh in our household. It was an amazing experience, basically pushing her in directions that she hasn't been pushed before in her career. I believe doing this film would take all the experiences I've had. And so I said yes. And they were like, oh my God, thank you, because if you don't, we'll have to rewrite the whole script again. <laughs> I've done things in this movie that I have never and will never again do. I mean, it has been a bucket list check. Jamie is so brilliant. She's a legend. First thing Jamie said to me was like, let's ditch our directors and run away together. And I'm like, I found my girl. The truth of the matter is, had they just said there's a Michelle Yeoh movie that they would like you to be in, I would have just said, OK. Mrs. Wang. Hello. We got to sneak a lot of our favorite actors into little roles in this movie. We had Michelle Yeoh riding Harry Shum Jr.'s back through the streets. Because she was controlling his hair. The way his body moves is like none other. He has such control. Does my baby want to go for a walk? And then Jenny Slate is someone who's such a joy to have on set. Like, she's a director's dream because you just wind her up and let her go, and you just never want to cut. Ki Kwan, who you probably will recognize from Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom and The Goonies, is finally back in a leading role, and we could not be more excited. Why do you say Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom is the best movie of all time? When I first started acting, it was in the early 80s. Opportunities for Asian actors were not a lot. It's very courageous to stop for 20 years and then one day decide, I think I'm gonna like step in front of the camera. And there was a moment where I was looking at him across this desk from me. In the middle of a scene, I was like, oh my God, it's, you know what I mean? It was like, oh, it's you, it's you. Perfect. Just look at this beautiful face right here. Joy, played by Steph Shu, is the very weird, disappointing American daughter. She's based off of me, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stephanie is just brilliant. Where she goes is really out there. And you can see when she plays Joe Butapaki, she's one thing, and then when she plays Joy, she's another. And that's a wrap on Jay Park. James Hong, of course, is a legend. When he's on, he just becomes like 25 again. James Hong, the incredible James Hong, right? He was hilarious and fun. He's been in this business almost 70 years. How much life he brought to the room. It was perfect. All right, back to work. Come on, come on. It's fun. It really feels like a family, both on and off screen. Beginning of every day, there's a warm up. I got to lead a warm up. Wait, you say Michelle, she says, yo, Michelle, yo, Michelle, yo. And when I get to be 100, I want all of you to party with me. When you work with people like that, it empowers you. We make a really happy family.